Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back to our channel. Do you consider your habits to be healthy? You may have some habits you're trying to shake and you're likely experiencing how hard it is. Habits can drastically alter our lifestyle and mood. So while we should always aim to minimize our bad habits, it might be a good idea to focus on developing some healthy ones first. Maybe you felt depressed or lost lately, or maybe this is something you've been struggling with for a while. But by developing some healthy habits, you can alter your mood for the better. In fact, you're already taking a step towards happiness right now by learning which habits to practice with this video. So to help you develop some happy habits, here are nine habits that keep you mentally happy. Number one, practice gratitude. Are you grateful for what you have? How often do you express it? If your answer is mm, not often, then you should reconsider practicing gratitude. Why? One two-part study found that practicing gratitude can have a strong impact on our feelings of hope and happiness, meaning it's time to act like it's Thanksgiving dinner, every meal. The researchers from Hope College found that gratitude predicts hope and happiness. So if we express how grateful we are more often, it may lead to feelings of happiness. Number two, give compliments. Did you know that paying someone a compliment can really pay off, in regards to your mood anyway? In one study, participants were randomly assigned to perform acts of kindness, acts of novelty, or no act every day for 10 days. Researchers measured their satisfaction with life before the experiment was conducted and then after. Performing acts of kindness or novelty resulted in an increase in overall life satisfaction. So go ahead and pay it forward. A compliment never hurt anyone. In fact, it'll likely make you both happy. Number three, experience and go with the flow. Have you ever heard the expression, go with the flow? Well, we may just have to take that advice, just in a different way than intended. Happy people often experience what is referred to as flow. Flow is a state where one is fully involved and absorbed in the present moment. In this state, one possesses intense concentration, a loss of self-consciousness, and a sense of timelessness. Sounds pretty happy, right? It may not be so easy to go with the flow if you don't know what drives you to that emotional state. So one step towards experiencing the flow more often Find out what it is that gets you there. Is it your passion that gets you there? Hanging out with your best friend? Playing your favorite sport? Whatever it is, it's not a bad idea to do it more often. Number four, savor the little moments. One habit that can keep you mentally happy? Savoring the little moments in your life. The practice of savoring has been viewed by many to be a way to increase happiness. We can use our thoughts and actions to increase our appreciation of positive experiences and emotions and the duration of them. When we do so, this is known as savoring. To practice savoring, the next time you appreciate something small, take an extra minute to consciously acknowledge it and bask in it. Don't let these moments pass you by. Be aware of them. Number five, exercise. Exercise plays a factor in improving our self-esteem and happiness. Continuous exercise has been shown to reduce stress, anxiety, and symptoms of depression. So it's a good habit to practice. Start with just five minutes a day when you wake up. Then when that becomes a habit, add an extra five minutes. Continue doing so until you feel comfortable. The point being, it's easier to start with a goal of five minutes a day than expect yourself to suddenly exercise an hour a day. Number six, get enough sleep. Remember those seven to eight hours of sleep you should be getting? Where'd they go? Why are you abandoning them? Sleep is extremely important to our mental health. Did you know that sleep deprivation kills brain cells and not getting enough Cs can impair our memory, judgment, and reaction time? So how on earth are we supposed to feel happy if we're so tired all the time? That's why it's best to opt into getting an adequate amount of rest each night. Try scheduling when it's time for bed and be sure to remove any distractions such as phones, tablets or video games an hour before bed. This will give your mind a chance to wind down. Number seven, choose foods that boost your mood. Another habit to implement, eat healthy foods that will make you happy in the long run. A happy food to add to your diet, carbohydrates. Carbohydrates release serotonin, which is the key hormone responsible for stabilizing our mood and feelings of happiness. Ditch deep fried foods, 
as those have been known to make you feel down. Instead, opt in for high protein foods such as lean meat, poultry, and dairy. High protein foods release norepinephrine and dopamine, which improves our energy and focus. Number eight, work towards meaningful goals. Do you often find it hard to get up in the morning? Are you unmotivated due to a lack of goals? One way to improve happiness is to set meaningful goals. If we feel our life lacks a purpose, we may fall into a depressive state. Create motivation to keep going by pursuing something that you're passionate about. Then set several small goals as starts to getting there. It's something to look forward to, focused on something we love. And number nine, experience nature. According to one study, spending just 30 minutes or more per week outside in nature can help lower your blood pressure and depression. Another study found taking a walk outside in a green environment increases our mood and decreases how many negative thoughts we have. Make sure to take your walks outside in nature though, as those in the study who walked down city streets didn't show any benefits as compared to those who walked in a natural environment. Looks like you'll be adding a nature walk to your habits list. Ooh, and you'll get in your five minutes of exercise too. So, do you have any of these habits? Which ones do you want to have? Let us know in the comments down below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to click the like button and share this video with someone who may need it. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. And as always, thanks for watching.